tonight a fun little video about vSphere 6.5 and creating Chrome shortcuts uh, that other browsers just doesn't offer. So Chrome can be a nice way to administer your vSphere environment. And let me show you some advantages. Uh, the biggest being visual clutter and reducing the tabs. What the heck am I talking about? Let's try this. Notice this clutter at the top, a tab and a big amount of space. What if you can get rid of all that? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the thing I was showing you is ESXi uh, HTML5 interface. So if you install ESXi 6.5 at the end of the install, it says to point your browser to the host name or IP address of your server, your ESXi hypervisor you just installed. And this is what the user interface looks like, something like this. Now, I want to make some kind of bookmarks, um, shortcuts, and I like them in my taskbar. So I'm an admin and I'm busy and I don't want to have to minimize everything to find junk on my desktop. That's just me. Uh, here's how we do it. We have a lot of interfaces to do and I'm going to show you how to make five icons. Kind of lickety split. All right, click on the three little dots, kind of like a hamburger menu. More tools. And add a desktop. Open as window might not be turned on, so you want to make sure you turn on that checkbox. That's important. And I have made a mistake. I'm going to hit cancel. I forgot to log off. Now the URL can be goofy on some of these. This one I think is okay. These other ones, the URL has a bunch of stuff in there. You really want to be on the log or the main screen. So we're going to log out and get rid of UI and watch what happens. Brings you right back to login. So there's all you basically need to do is just log off and now go through the procedure. Here we go. Three dots, more tools, Add a desktop, and it says log in. Open as window. We can leave all that alone. Make sure open as window is on, and you're done. What's next? Right click, pin to taskbar, and then right click and delete the one on the desktop. So now we've got a yellow icon of the ta taskbar. All right. Test it maximize it and close it. Maximizing is actually important because it'll remember that setting. So we're done with that one. Let's move on to the next one. The next one showing you, hey admin, uh, when you've got your VCSA installed and you point your browser to VCSA, it gives you a little intro screen saying you got the flash version right here and the HTML5 version, which is not quite feature complete right here. So it basically makes us, you don't have to memorize URLs and launches them if you look at the bottom left there. So we can close that. I don't need a shortcut for that, really. That was really just for when you first install ECSA. Um, however, it has some stuff like root certificates. So eh, maybe you'll want to get there someday. Let's see what a shortcut for that looks like. It's got a, uh, an L. All right. I think we've got a problem here. I think she didn't had one there for you. So I want to get rid of that. Here we go. Let's try that again. More tools, add a desktop, L, minimize, right click, pin, right click, delete. Okay, I'm just gonna cruise through these now. Done, next, web client. Remember to log off first, so you don't have this crazy long URL there. Okay, now ready to bookmark. Tools, add. Long URL, let's see how it goes. Okay, what's this last one? Vami, so VCSA colon 5480 with HTTPS, you gotta type that whole thing and then you get in. That's Vami. That can be handy to use again someday. I'll do the same logout techniques. We get the login screen.
Okay, not such a fan of that icon because it looks the same as the others. But if we hover over these, we should get hover help. All right, so that didn't go great. So now it's time to clean up or uh, rename. Let me just go left to right here. And maximize them. Now, a lot of people um, may forget this basic tip, and that is if you want to spawn a new one, like if I click on it, it obviously brings it up. What if I want to bring up a second instance? Just simply right click and launch a second copy with your left mouse button. All right, so this one seems to have worked and it's got a good label. This one is welcome. Let's see what it says when I hover over it. Uh, let's see, we're not getting hover help because the app is running. Okay, so some of these, that one just says login. That's the new vSphere client. All right, so I gotta think about this. Um, how do I clean this up? Well, for one, having them running didn't work out so great, but at least now we've memorized all five icons. Now remember that I want to start them big. So if you see our client, clear enough. This one, not so clear. So login, that's the lousy one. So how about I go, I go properties and go to general, and let's come up with something better. Okay. So other than the uh, same looking icons, I think we're in better shape now. So how am I gonna address, oh, let's see, the hover help fixed. Ah, gotta close it. Still says login. Why is that? So right click, property, oops. Right click, right click again, then hey properties. And we changed it to vSphere client. Why does it still say the word login? I'm gonna show you a tip here. Go to Process tab, go to Windows Explorer, restart it. Okay, that was my uh, cheat. There, now it says VCR client. And VCR client. All right, I'm going to test them all out now and actually authenticate. So, a little tip here would be when you got something repetitive to type, um, I'll show you that in a second. So that's root. All right, log into that. Next one, nothing really to log in here. It's just a launcher, so we can move right along from the L. Next one. Okay, it's tough to type on camera, but I've got that in the clipboard now. So won't have to rekey that in. It's going to be kind of fun to watch the difference in login speeds here. Notice it's already authenticated because <laughs> it already has a browser session open from here. And look how quick the HTML5 interface came up and the Adobe Flash one is still getting painted. Ouch, right? All right. And then finally, Vami. So cutting and pasting administrator add VCR logo in my clipboard didn't really help because I didn't have to type that again. Comes right up extremely fast. So all the VCSA appliance is running on a Samsung 950 M.2 NVMe drive, meaning uh, over five times faster than any 2.5 inch SATA SSD. Part of why you're seeing these crazy good speeds. All right.
And so all these sessions that are logged in and authenticated, what happens if we just close them? Logs us right back in. It's maximized. Well, it didn't log in, excuse me. Uh, resumes, brings us back to the same UI without asking for credentials because it had not been manually logged off. Adobe Flash, still struggling to come up. And my CPU is not really doing much. Just kind of wait. Looking forward to being rid of that soon. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't make you wait or torture you any longer. You got the idea. It's almost done, all right. Oh. Okay, so we have a problem with that one. That's the one that had the long URL. And I was a little suspicious if it was going to be uh, a good one. Well, it wasn't. So for this product, it really seems it wants me to log in. Um, let's point all the way to the root of VCSA. The tree, the folder does not look crazy and see if that works. Add to desktop. Ooh, it's got VCR client right in the word login. So that's good. Okay. We might have a process here and a different color, even better. Okay, that worked because it was logged in. What happens if I log out and close it? Do we have an icon that works? We do, uh, but didn't pick up. Didn't pick up where we left off. Does that mean vSphere web client is actually authenticated? No, it needs to log in too. So I think we're good. Log off worked, icon worked. It's got a different color. And actually VAMI here looks slightly different, I think, than that icon maybe. And most people wouldn't need VAMI. So yeah, I think I'm happy. Um, got things arranged where my day-to-day -day use browser is right here. All right, so there's my browser. It shows highlighted. You can see what's going on. Great. Next, ESXi. We've got that going. Next. Web client, and then finally the one we are most likely to spend time on going forward. Uh, all right. So clutter is reduced. We open up two tabs. You can see there's two tabs in the there. We open up the thing, we get a peek of what we're looking at. And uh, didn't get very far with that one. All right, so it's good, right? You do your day-to-day -day stuff, things stay organized. Let's say we have another ESXi host. Just right-click. And it's logging in the same place. So that didn't work out so well. All right, so I'm not logging into, no, well, it did. The only problem is you can't go up here and like change the URL. So it gave me two copies, but it didn't give me a chance to um, log in a different one. So, all right, how about this? I'm not sure why you'd do it, but vSphere web client, can we launch a second copy of that? 
And the answer would be, of course, why not? And then finally, vSphere client. So this could be handy, say, you want to compare two things. You want the vSphere client twice because you're trying to do something where you're comparing one machine to another. No reason not to do it, and it's also very snappy, which is delightful. So I think the long wait for HTML5 was, you know, worth it. Uh, it's just kind of too bad that we don't have all the features yet on this interface. So, well, that was a pretty sloppy, messy video, but uh, I think you got a good sense of what can be done with these handy little shortcuts and all my little browsing of my vSphere infrastructure there in no way affected my use of this. So that's kind of cool. Uh, if you do download, um, you know, that's also kept here. So yeah, I like the segregation. I guess one last little touch will be my day-to-day -day browser. I tend to want it to always open maximize. Let's see if that actually gets it here too, or it does. All right, that's a wrap. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.